Hello everyone and welcome back to Satellite Rain. So, I've adjusted the volume a little bit because I was looking back to previous episode and it, I get drowned out by the gunfire quite a lot. But um, we'll see if that actually worked. So what are we doing here? Well, we're going to try to go around. So, one of the problems we had, one of the many problems we had, was basically trying to go through facility. So, like you look here, and you see the first objectives right here, which is fine and easy to get to, but the second objective's over here. So it makes more sense to try to find the western entrance and see if we can get in through that way. And of course avoid the southern entrance because we found out last episode, that's a death trap. So let's go around. Um, we might actually need, not need to go physically around. We can probably just um, use a waypoint around here somewhere. I believe there's one close to the bank, I think, did it? Yeah, that should be like right up here past the tree. And that's really the closest one. Didn't realize it was that far. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that was probably the best one. Okay, so now we just head towards here. Oh, I suppose... Hold on, before you guys go very far, I get all caught up, you know? All interested, wanted to do stuff. What I should do, though, is I should make sure that all of you guys had their proper skills and their proper loadout and all that wonderful stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give these guys ocular upgrades. So go ahead and purchase that for our soldier. Just replace your eyes, you know, no big deal. And maybe do the same thing for our support guy. Sure. And our hacker guy. Oh, really? The controller chip's a prototype. I thought for sure we had it. Okay, well, I really like that thing, so I should probably research it. What are we researching right now? We are researching... Oh, armor plating. Well, that's really important. And increases regeneration. That's really good, too. So what we won't do, then is equip you with either of these right now. That should be fine. Um, you getting an ocular implant seems really important. And how are we doing for money right now? We are slightly under our R&D cost. Okay, that's, that's fine. So what about skills? How are we doing on skills? You have four skill points. Wow, okay. So what do you do for that? I suppose bringing out your samurai sword might have helped you in last episode. If you had a samurai sword, you might have been able to take care of the dog and his guard unit since they got into melee range with you. So sure, why don't you do that? And what does a weapon specialist do? Just general damage output. That also sounds decent and probably the only thing we can afford right now. So sure. It means you have one skill point available, but that's all right. In fact, we should get everybody yeah, everybody should get Weapon Specialist. Increases our damage. That seems to be a sore point right now. Uh, support guy. We could increase the range of the world scan, but not thrilled with that right now. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. You know what we haven't been doing? We haven't been marking target. Should probably do that, too. Everything just gets so caught up as things are going. Excuse me. Suddenly got something in my throat. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. That uses up all our skill points, except for you have one left, which we can put in world scan. Sure. Do it. What the hell? And we can't put anything into you because we can't afford it. Okay. So as for gear, you guys have all the decent... Oh, there's an ammo pack here. Okay. Okay, that doesn't look like anything I'd ever use. I hate to say it, but it doesn't. Body armor light, though, that totally looks like something we'd use. How is that not... Oh, I guess it's different than the augmentation. You don't implant it. This is a actual gear thing. Um, Sure, we'll buy body armor for everybody, actually. So you get body armor. And you get body armor for slot 2. And you get body armor for slot 2. And you get body armor for slot two. 
and we're down quite a bit, but that's okay. That helps with our survivability. I feel safe with that. What's the mission we're doing now? We're going to go ahead and do the cyber clinic, which I believe is this one, right? It totally is. Okay. So we can get some decent combat augmentations here. Sounds like a plan. So let's just see if we can go straight in. Supposedly there's a western entrance. I'm really hoping they don't mean up here. But we'll see. It's so, okay. And now we have armor. We're going to be very difficult to take down, hopefully. And our infiltrator having a katana is also pretty good. So, all right. So, yeah, we should just go right past the trees here. I think it's a straight shot straight into Wyvern territory. We will find out, though. Do kind of like the trees. Um, so there is a green door over here that apparently just lets you right in. Are you serious? It's not guarded or anything? <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like the door is not guarded at all. And that's the restricted door we want to get into right there. Isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Yep, that's it. That's the door we want to get into. So there's a camera thing here. Let's verify this with our world scan ability. That totally takes out the cameras we need to be worried about. Um, so the trick is... There's a patrol there, but, I'm, but he's alone. We could probably just hijack him. That would actually be pretty good if we could hijack him. So yeah, I think we go up these stairs. They're very faint. You just have to trust me that they're, that they're there. Go up these stairs, and that should take us out in the world here. Okay, there's also a security drone, but I think we t take out the security drone and then hijack the guard, and I think that should do it. So let's go ahead and go in. It's very low security. Wyvern's got to be kind of embarrassed. They are a bunch of thugs, though, so I suppose we don't care too much. And then go ahead and... That's got to be a hack job, right? Yeah, hacker needs to do it. Let's come on over here. Hack your pretty little brain out. Oh, I might have actually adjusted it so that it's too quiet. Oh, make sure you're not seen. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay, we've got more company than I actually expected. That should be okay, though. We can totally take these guys if we need to. I'd prefer not to need to. So if these guys actually come over, I think we can hijack the guard and then take out the drone now the gunfire for taking out the drone is going to attract some attention which is unfortunate and our range for hacking a guy is not all that large I know they're just gonna circle around and then leave so we could go like right up to this wall And can we hijack? We cannot hijack the drone right now from this distance. Oh, there's actually a lot more guys in there than I thought. That is one, two, three, four guys plus a drone, plus however many reinforcements. Well, the time's ticking away here. Okay, the drone's going to come back around. Maybe? Maybe not. If we can have the high ground, that'll help us a lot. Um, why don't we just go ahead and take the high ground and then take them out people will come through the green entrance there and however many will come through the other side yeah I mean it's a little dangerous to just go ahead and start shooting but there are so many guys here I don't see a way to get in here without a firefight so I think we just take it okay that's one of the armored guys if we can hijack him that'd be great how much would it take to hijack Hugh? Eventually, there we go. Hijack level required three. What's our current hijack level? Let's look at our guy here. Skills. Hijack is level two, so we can't actually hijack him. Okay, so let's wait for it. 
Wait for him to turn around, and then we'll take the high ground and just start shooting, I think. I like the idea of hijacking a guard, but I think it's going to be too much trouble. I mean, maybe as they swing around close to me on their patrol, that was not the guy I wanted to swing around close to me. You were the wrong dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, man. Is he actually going to walk all the way over here? If so, he's going to see me. He's going to see all of us. No, he turned around. Okay. Well, they just like wandering out in the quad, I guess. Now, we could totally reveal ourselves and shoot down these guys. We're decently armored. We could make it work. But I think we're better off taking the high ground. I wasn't actually expecting this many guys. Um, so I think we just wait to be able to take the... Uh, I don't know what you call that. Landing? It's not really a place where you would land, but I think it's just called that. So they're going to look over the side. So go ahead and look over the side again. And as soon as you turn around... Yeah, go ahead and look over the side. It's fine. Look around. Good. Okay, the drone's going to look around too, but he just wants to follow his friend. Okay, we're good. Go over. They're going to give up the high ground in just a minute. And that'll be enough for us to take over. So stay low. Take out weapons and open fire on the drone. Drone is out. Grenade is out. Take care of this guy. Oh, come on, he's almost down. He's out. And take care of this guy. And he's out. Oh, shit, we got somebody up top. Number three's gonna... Oh, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Maybe. Um, heal up. And we totally use a drone right now. Okay, we're a little hurt. Don't get me wrong. And he's out. Take care of him. We got decent armor here. If we could take care of everything. Just basically everything. Okay. Oh, we took out the camera. That's just great. That's not what I was actually aiming for. High ground definitely helps. Uh, grenade is still not ready yet. Take care of that. Take care of that. Good. Good. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Nobody's actually fallen yet. Which is something you can't always say. And the sniper's trying her best. Maybe we should actually stop using Uzis and start using lasers. It's a little late now. Shoot. I think that's the general alarm now. So come over here. Ah, hell. Yeah, this might not have been a smart move. Number three is going to fall. Maybe. Maybe. We might be okay. Possibly. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of time to heal here. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, did he actually just lose interest or did we just... No, there he is right there. Okay. And open fire. Ha! She cut him down. Nice. Okay, that works. Um, we are totally in the wrong place. We need to be over here. Okay. Well, we're going to regenerate some of this armor. Why don't we go ahead and take out the camera? Just to make sure. And then we are totally walking through this door. Okay. That was a little messy. Oh, and we got more guys. Of course. And there's another guy there. And he brought friends. Which of course he did. Oh, come on, guys. You're really going to take out my hostages? My escort target got... my Both my escort targets got killed. Take out this guy. Or one of them did. Not the other guy did. Okay, good. We got The camera's already taken out. Good. Don't let him call for help. Slash him down or something. Jeez Louise. We can't do anything with that target right now. Go, 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 go. Where is she going? Um, should be free and clear. Just need to hold up, hold up some for defensive. I don't know where that is, but it's not here. 
Um, take care of that camera too. What the hell? I don't think it matters right now. The cameras are disabled, theoretically. Okay, well we got one of the targets. I didn't actually realize it'd be an escort mission though. I hate escort mission just as a general rule. But maybe, possibly. Um, I don't know what that was. Some kind of weird glitch. Okay, there we go. Come on, five. I want you to go through here. Okay, so we get her out. Oh, him. Sorry, that was actually a guy. So, we're all out, right? Oh, put away your weapons, guys. Um, so I have no idea. Okay, they have no idea where we are either. I think we have to wait for the heat to die off before we can count this as successful mission. There we go. We got a prototype, and we got a new message. And so I have no idea what the escort was worth. It doesn't say. And we got a water cooling system, which I guess is good, but... Huh. No indication of what the escort mission was good for. Did I miss something? Let's go to the log. Districts and checkpoints. Which is a weird time to tell me this, because I'm pretty sure we already knew that, just from inference. Yeah, so that was really, really weird. Um, research is almost done on our subdermal plating, which will help with the armor, but already the armor that we currently have helped out a whole lot, and I really like that the armor regens. I mean, it's a little cheap, I admit, it's a cheap mechanic, but I appreciate it because otherwise I'd be doomed. Um, and in fact, I bet if we fast travel, it might heal up automatically. Um, fast traveling is not done that way though, fast traveling is done by clicking on one of these things and you jump directly to it. Well, definitely regens faster, probably because we're next to the beacon. Okay. So that did that. That was both easier and harder than I thought it would be. Um, a little bit of both. So I think we can use that same entrance to go in and get our other objective. So we're done with that. Now we have the Continental Haven, which is right there. So yeah, we pretty much just go in the opposite direction. You'd be tempted, probably, to go past the uh, weapon emplacements there, the sentry turrets, but I'm not, because I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but for different reasons, and none of them are related to wanting me to get my ass shot off, which is basically what that would result in. So let's go ahead and go back through here. We already know that kind of works. Sure, just hop over the car. What the hell? Um, how are we? We're probably fine on clones, right? We haven't actually died yet. For the past couple of episodes, we've actually died a couple of times, but or our agents have anyway. So yeah, we should be able to go over here. I'm kind of curious what the uh, weapon emplacements look like, so I'm going to look. Just to see. So that's the camera, and that's the way in right there, and those are all the weapon emplacements. Wow. Um, there's a lot of cameras. There is a camera system deactivated there, but that would be a turret, and that looks pretty hefty. The hardwire element might be able to take care of it, but you need to be able to get past it first. So I think we're not going to do that. <laughs> we go in the easy way, which is the way we went in the first time. And we'll just go right instead of left and go through this door. That should lead us through out here. And then we should be able to make it mm, somewhere over here. Um, where the heck is our mission objective? Oh, there. Okay, well, the door's open. That's good. So, working backwards, we need to disable those cameras. Um, we could go the sideway, though. That'd be really good. 
Um, hmm. So, actually, if we hack this door, or something we could totally do, um, or we can just break down with the hardwire panel, either way. Um, and then we get past this camera somehow. I don't know how, because it's really close to everything. Yeah, that's not going to work. I was going to say we get past and we can deactivate the hardwire point, but... Hmm. No. No. Probably not. Okay, so there's got to be something that controls the cameras. Um, it's not that. That only controls these cameras over here. These cameras are on a separate circuit. No idea where that is. But if we get to, like, right here, right to this door, I could probably figure it out. Because I'm pretty sure the scan would tell us, at least it would tell us the direction. Don't we already kind of know the direction? It's got to be somewhere around here, right? So, looking around for any kind of camera deactivation device, I don't see one, which is a little disturbing. I see a bunch of cameras. Oh, hell. Wouldn't she know it? It's up top. Well, there's a vent there, which means the infiltrator can get there. But, what are the chances... Yeah, hacker level required one. If the infiltrator tries it, she has a 39% chance of success. But that means, what, a 61% chance of failure? That's not good at all. Though the, it's a low vent, so that means a hacker could do it. Um, is there a reason why would we want the hacker through here? Let's look at the mission. So we need our soldier in there, but that's it. That's the only requirement. We just need our soldier in there. Everyone else is up for grabs, and I've spent so long doing this that our subdermal plating is actually up for grabs, which is good. But we totally need to take out this camera. If we don't take out the camera, I'm not sure how we can do this. So how do we get to the camera? We need to get past a lot of cameras in order to get to it, which is kind of funny. So that's one camera there at least to get through the circular door and then past another camera, at least one, on the pivot there next to the green stanchion. And then after that, you're free and clear. So the infiltrator and hackers should go by themselves, I think, and go that way. Meanwhile, the soldier and support can hang out over here. See, if they deactivate the camera, we take out this hardwire point, I'm betting that powers the cameras. Which means that'll permanently take care of the cameras. And then we pretty much waltz right in. Now, of course, that doesn't count in, you know, all the guards that are likely standing between here and there. But should be fine. So let's go ahead and go through the door and start this little game. It's a little late in the episode probably to actually start this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we're going to be nice and stealthy and fast. If we can be all three of those things, that would be great. Okay, so you all have to go through this door. That's great. That's what I want you to do. And then I'll hang out over here. And we'll wait to see what the patrols are like. Now, theoretically, the... Eastern wall there should be tall enough. I shouldn't care too much. There are an awful lot of guards though, aren't there? I'm not sure splitting up is going to be a very helpful. Because if we need to open fire, having multiple avenues would be very helpful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the laser for all these guys. The benefit of it has infinite ammo and does a little bit more damage, I think. Uh, if he comes over here, um, that's an uh, armored guy, so we're going to have a hell of a time. But he turned around, so we're okay. Um, but he's going to stay in the area. Infiltrator might be able to take him out with like a katana blow or something, but it's going to be awfully tricky. 
That's a closed loop. Oh, there's another thing for cameras over here. Where does that door go in, though? Right there. We can easily hack that. Um, if we can get to it. How do we get to it? Oh, man, we have to go so far around. We have to go over here, go over this area, go through this, and that gets us over there. Well, the benefit of there's probably only like one or two guards, but it's tricky. I think it's worth it, though, because we'll deactivate the cameras for quite a while. And I don't actually know which cameras, which is a problem, but... Um, yeah, let's do it. Pretty sure this will work. So we took care of a lot of the guards. Um, for this side. And since it's still in the same episode, this is still going to totally work for us. Um, maybe? If those two guards don't actually come up... I don't think they're going to. It'd be really funny if they do, though. We do have the high ground. That helps. But this will be a total death trap if they end up not circling around like I expect them to. Oh, no, they're just going to keep going? If they keep going, that's even better. Okay. I mean, they're going to turn around eventually, which will be a problem, don't get me wrong. But that day is not today. Okay, guys, come over here. And actually, let's go ahead and take out that hardwire point. I don't know what that does. It's probably not just the door, right? So go ahead, Mr. Engineer, Soldier Man. Guess that'd be the Engineer Core, right? See what that deactivates for us. Um, that did something. The cameras are still active, though. So, yes, those deactivate the cameras we want. Okay, so Hacker, go ahead and take care of this. All right, and then all four of you guys come through here. Probably unnecessary, but I did it anyway. Oh, hell. Quick, quick, quick. Number one, over here. Ah, hell, they saw us. Number three, take care of this. Yeah, they totally saw us. We have a hell of a lot of company now. Um, let's go ahead and throw a grenade the hell? That should surprise them. Yep, they look pretty surprised. Okay. Um, you guys come over here. I want some decent cover. There's a run for it. And now go ahead and open fire. Oh, yeah, the lasers are very pretty, aren't they? Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. If I'm really lucky, they're not even going to have a chance to call for help. They might not need to, though, because the freaking drone... Okay, we're good. That is definitely some suppressive fire right there. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> not exactly the sneaky way I wanted to go in here. Um, and there's more cameras. Oh, I should have thought of this more. Because um, those cameras are controlled by that up there. We're going to have quite the issue here. So how are we going to get in there? There is a low vent. We should go up the low vent. How are we going to do that with all these cameras in the way? Well, careful timing, my dear. Careful timing. Um, very careful timing because we're going to be blocked by the plants. That's going to be an issue. Okay, well, we'll deal with that as it comes. Come over here, guys. And now what? Um, yeah, we can't climb hand over hand. So we're going to have to go to the vents right now. Okay, somehow we got past the camera. I don't know how that worked. I mean, I know how it worked, but I'm surprised it worked. Okay, I'm not even sure going through this camera is necessarily a good thing. We still need to get to that door. But number three, go ahead and take care of these cameras. If number four goes down here, what benefit does it give us? 
nothing, I don't think. Okay. Well, then, go back to the vent, guys. That takes us down here. We don't want to take the stairs up, much as I'm tempted to. I think instead we just go ahead and aim for the knees, basically. We're going to have a bunch of guys here. They're going to call in some reinforcements, which are going to show up. So we need to take some kind of defensive posture. Um, being out in the open is not the defensive posture I had in mind. Okay. He's taken care of. He's taken care of. Come over here. Ah, oh, hell. Well, that should surprise him. Um, let me go ahead and... Yep, okay, he's dead. That really helped, actually, the katana blade. Yeah, just go ahead and shoot him as much as possible, get into melee range, whatever. He's out. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. So I'm kind of glad I didn't save it for last next episode. Now the trick is going to be getting out, because they're definitely going to call in support. Yep, there we go. There's support right there. So get over here really fast. Toot sweet, if you please. Um, is the grenade ready yet? The grenade is not ready yet. I'm calling a drone now. Uh, come on, take him out. Yes, okay, good. We got him before he called for help. That's something. Okay. Good. We need to get going before the cameras reactivate. We don't have a whole lot of time. We have two guys full of stuff. Oh, we already those cameras are already reactivated. Hell. Um, here, go through this way. It's probably a bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. I don't know where this goes, actually, which is why it's a bad idea. Um, but we might be okay? Yeah, actually, um, this is the way we want to go to get out. So, hardwire this door open, please. Any day now. Cameras are still deactivated, though. I think we're okay. Okay, come through here. The patrol is going to totally miss us, which is fantastic. Why didn't we do this the first time? Because sometimes I'm slow. Sometimes I don't totally know what I'm doing. Um, so I guess we can all put away our weapons now, because we're practically free and clear. And now if they see us, they might not care as much. Maybe. That might be just wishful thinking. All right, so we go in through here. Weapons are deactivated, and sure enough, the heat's off of us. We got some decent stuff here. We've been draw up at arms. Downtown district is spoken in chaos since we shook up the leadership. Dracogenis will take notice of overall profitability drops. Right now, we got focused on bigger problems. So we got ourselves a response processor, whatever the hell that is, stealth generator, and a new kind of laser pistol. All very good stuff. All right, and we got in and out with very little problems. All right, that was pretty good. So the next on our list is, of course, the Dracogenics facility. It is a hard target. It's going to be difficult. I won't pretend it won't be, because it is totally going to be difficult. But we're decently armored. armored. Um, we should probably start some research here. Um, let's go ahead and do the controller chip. And as soon as we get to a waypoint... Let's go ahead and start uh, implanting all the subdermal plating. That'll help out a lot. But I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Satellite Rain. This successful episode brought to you by PC Universe and your PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.